Marte, Iron Mike. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing his last name there. Uh, it let's see, Roy Ashburn, Bull Davies, Tony Alex 23 Watson. Ragu, Elmer Alex. Jr., The Beast, Alex Watson, and Brandon B12, also known the as Bumbles. Bumblebee? Bumbles? Is yeah. that what it is? And then over on the Titan side, Dakota Gearhead on the left, number 14. Uh, Gabriel LaCroix, uh, number 83. Riding Venom. Uh, I hear I look a lot like him. Oscar Matterhorn. Angel Viper. Gunny Grime. Rayon Sands. Dwayne Viper. Pit Phantom. And Enrique Eros. So there we go, our lineups for both teams. Enric. Enric. Is Enric, is that how you say it? Yes, guys, it's Enric. Look, oh. I love me some Alabama pronunciations, all right? So you, <laughs> you can count on me to butcher it. <laughs> Roll Tide. Hey, Titan's got some nice It's uniforms. okay, I'm going to keep y'all in, in check tonight. I bet okay. you will. <laughs> Titans have some great-looking uniforms. I, I like the red, and pythons look great in the white also. See, I like I like the green of the the pythons. It's not a very often used color. Yeah, they uh, last game. I think the last game they played, they had the uh, python emblem on the back of their jerseys. If I'm right, the last game when they wore their green. Okay, they've got them on the back of the white jerseys too. Yeah, I don't know. Now, is that their primary color whenever they're their home team, the green? Uh, yes, it is, and their away is white. Hmm. It, it, what they did is they to... look, it looks like they redesigned the uniform. On the back, it says it has a python emblem now, and it looks like right. it's on the arms also. Yeah, they've got the logo and no number on the back, logo and their last it's, name. That's, that's pretty neat. Name. I like that. Yeah, that is, that is pretty sharp. I've seen the green. The green one looks sharper, I thought. When they wear their dark green, but it's an interesting design on their yep. uh, jerseys. A little bit of an extended time tonight at midfield, so maybe there's a couple issues that we're not aware of that they are working out. And let me do this. It's not an ad, but I, I mentioned this for the last game, and especially because this is the first weekend. If you're like me and like to keep up with stuff, um, I don't know if you've heard, but now that the uh, Coalition Football website is running live updates of the games, and I will walk you through how to do that if you want to like keep up with the stats as they occur, you can go to coalitionfootball.com, click on the schedule button, it'll pull up the whole season schedule, and you want to scroll down to the last one that says stats, Titans and Pythons. If you get the one that says not played, well, we're not there yet. That would be uh, tomorrow night's game. But if you look at there, uh, about midway down week two, it says Titans Python stats. If you click that, right now it's a bunch of empty boxes under those uh, under their logos because no plays have happened yet. But the minute that kicks off and uh, the first tackle is logged, you're going to start seeing uh, little numbers populate there. So it's a good way to keep up with who's doing what. Um, You'll hear me reference it a couple of times, mention how many players, you know, tackles and all that. Guys, I'm not writing it down. I'm not that involved in it. It's just real easy to pull up that website. So uh, do that. Yep. I definitely – I wasn't able to come to last night's uh, Cowboys and uh, Seahawks game. I actually followed it on that. So that was a pretty neat pretty neat experience. That's very interesting. I didn't know this. It's the first time. I would have used this yesterday. See, there you go. I didn't even know this is – existed this is pretty cool and you said it, it updates as it occurs correct yeah if you wait give it a couple plays you know yeah. i say that uh -huh. they'll be there after the first play but if you do a couple of plays you know you'll get a you'll get things in different different categories like you'll have some offensive stats and some uh some defensive stats and that type of thing oh, very interesting i didn't know that I really didn't know that i'm gonna use this i'm gonna keep this open too i think i'm gonna start quoting from it also there you go also don't forget to get involved. The league always needs your help. We're, there are plenty of positions out there for referees, commentators, cheer ops. And if you have marketing needs, please be sure and hit up Veronica Vela, and she'll be sure and get you all set up for your ads to be talked about 
during games on our board, on our website, where everybody can see it. Okay, it looks like the Titans are going to be setting up for the kickoff. They're going to be on the right side of the field, and the Pythons will be receiving on the left side. And it looks like the players are getting their formation situated. Looks like we'll have a kickoff here shortly coming from the uh, Titans. Looks like a good complement of players tonight here for the uh, for both teams, really. I know the, uh, let's see, three, three, maybe there is only nine. I thought they had more than that. It looks like the Pythons have nine also. Yep. Okay, never mind. I thought they had a full full team with three or four on the side. I uh, am they, mistaken. They so they're both nine. Yeah. Yeah, they have nine. So does the uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So does the Titans. So it looks like it's evenly matched with the number yeah, of the players. Titans do appear to have an extra. Angel appears to be over on the sidelines. Oh, so, uh, yeah, they have a little bit of a cushion there as far as crash players. That last game we kept seeing uh, – one of the uh, yellow jackets crashing out, and every time that she did, they were down a player. So good to have that insurance over there. Okay, it looks like Tony's on the sideline for the Pythons. Oh, here he comes. He's coming in. He's coming in now. Yeah, uh, you're gonna they have... will need him to have a full nine. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have Mike receiving deep for the Pythons, and on his right, he's got Brandon, and on the left, he's got Watson to to receive deep. Yep, and they're actually making a change now that Tony's out there. He's taking that left side uh, receiving okay, ball. Okay, switched out, yeah. He switched out on the left side, yep. yeah. Moving Alex up to the front line. So looks like we are good to go. We'll be getting some football going here relatively soon as Gunny's got it loaded up and ready to kick. All right, the ball we'll clock this is one ticked. I started yep. ticking. And the ball was, yeah, the ball's in play, and it's a – Good kick, hits around the 20, bounces, picked up at the 10. By Mike, Iron Mike yeah. rolling to his right, then his left, cutting back, brought down around the 18-yard line where they will take it up first and 10. Yeah, Pythons are going to take it eight, on their own 18. Go ahead, Kat. Were you saying something? You kind of paused, so I was going to say that's Gunny. <laughs> Okay, it looks See, like they're setting with this guy. She's, yeah, she's, she was, she's, she's going to correct us. She's staying, <laughs> staying there. All right, they got Scotty in the backfield, and they've got Jasmine out on the left along with Tony. And on the right, it's going to be Watson receiving for the Pythons. And Bumbles looks like he's going to be the tight end. They... Good to see we Jeff have the in the crowd with the... us tonight, coming in from the uh, – from the previous earlier game, he had a monster receiving night. It just came up on the wrong end of the, uh, the scoreboard there. Wow. Uh, it looks like the Pythons have called a timeout. I, I was wondering why the ref was running around out there for a moment. While we do that, Cat, why don't you tickle our ears with another ad? How about scene? Tired of trying to fit into your fashion category that just doesn't seem to fit you? It's too mainstream, too blah, or just generally too conformative? Scene is the brand that is going to change all that. Thinking outside the box, pushing the boundaries of style and fashion. We are here to help you explore your personality and mold your SL to fit your style. With a little bit of everything, we can guarantee you will find something that works for you. That scene. There you go. And if you are listening to this game over the YouTube, 
then you owe a big shout out and thanks to Dexter Frederick, who uh, is recording most, if not all, of our games for us and uh, desperately looking for some help. So, um, so looks anything like you could give him, takes... looks like Mike's going to take this one, roll to his left. He is tripped up by Rayon and then quickly finished and in that loses spot. About a yard. Also, um, also a so it's going to be second at it on 17. Go ahead, I'm sorry, Kat. Go ahead. As, as a disclaimer, as Dexter is recording this, and he is going to put out there already, just to let everybody know again, if you message him, we all will see it on the YouTube video replay. So be careful right. of what you message. Plus, I think he's single out there, ladies. So, I mean, if you're looking for a guy that's tech savvy <laughs> and got it together. And this one is a pick. Gabriel LaCroix, he's going to take this one back all the way down to the 14-yard line. And gets stopped by Scotty there. Yep, good, good tackle there. Oh, me, I'm already in trouble with Dexter. <laughs> he's going to get a ton of messages, I bet you now. <laughs> right, every, every time they watch this game. <laughs> Pitt's going to take this one handoff quick to Ryden Ryden is going to head to that end zone and there is no nice. resistance over there nice. he's going to walk right in there for the score and just like that it is now 6 to nothing. So we await the extra point from Gunny, who punches it up and in. That's good. Seven, it makes it seven. Yeah, seven nil. Just kidding. It's football. We don't say nil in football, do we? It's no, the we other say football. Zero. We say, we say nil. Zero, zero, yeah, zero. Zero. Zilch. Nada. All right, guys, they're going to kick it deep. It looks like Mike is going to go back into the end zone. The ball rolls out. Yep. It's going to be – Python's going to take it first and uh, 10 on their own 20. I'd like to give a quick shout-out to one of my buddies out there. Yo, Dre, what's up? He plays for the Kings. <laughs> <laughs> number of players out there tonight. It's always good to see the, uh, the other contestants in the league come and watch their peers. That's okay. I'll be commentating his game. I think. Uh, I think it's next week. I'm commentating. Okay. That game. I'm not sure. I got to. I got to double check that. So we await now the start of this second series as Mike is back at the QB, and this one he's going to curl to his right and fire this one over the middle. Almost had that one picked as well as one of the. Uh, may have been the same defender there, Gabriel. It appeared. I could be. Could be wrong on that, but. One of the defenders over there stepped right in the path of that ball. It was just a little too high, or that would have been interception number two. All right, the Pythons are set up with two receivers on the left. They got Tony and Jazz on the, on the left, and Watson on the right. Yep, he's got That's a lot of room Mike if he does. takes this one up. Ah, he got caught. Looks like he got nailed from behind. Yeah, he did. I'm telling you, he had room. He did not quite get on that boost as quick as uh, he probably would have liked. Because if he did, then he's moving the same speed as the guy that tackled him, and he would have kept going for a good bit. But yeah, so uh, brought the, down from behind. Yeah, so Bye the Gabriel. Pythons are going to be on their own 20, third and 10 for them. You'd have to watch for Mike. He he's good at throwing these short passes into the flat zone. So mm -hmm. I they would they'd have to watch that the Titans. And he took the snap there. I thought maybe it was a field glitch, but uh, they're just now announcing a dead ball penalty. Was that maybe a false start? Yeah, somebody on the offense uh, was playing so off their ball. Allowed to appear on the what's, defense, but what's drifting? It's, uh, see, okay, you know how if you're on defense, you're allowed to, to pull off your ball a little bit. Like, you, uh -huh. you don't have to stay exactly in that spot. Well, you can't do that in offense. Oh, okay, so, okay, so it's, it's, it's okay. 
so I, I didn't know that was called drifting. I thought that was illegal motion, but okay. Well, I mean, I didn't see a streetcar out there, so I'm kind of. <laughs> they said it was drifting. That. That's why I was asking. I there you go. Heard of drifting. Now before. let's see. All <laughs> right. Illegal. So if you pull up now, look. If you pull up the uh, the that website like I was the talking website. about. Yeah. Yeah, you can already see Rayon Sands and uh, Gunny both have a tackle over oh, there registered on the Titans. I on, see. Uh, on... They got five blocks. Oh, okay. Very interesting. I'm telling you. Ah, okay. They got stats for the defense. Ah, very interesting. Okay, they also got kicking. And this is another pass over on that, uh, up that sideline. It's picked by Gunny, and he's going to ah. take this one all the way to the house. I need to get an opportunity to see the play. I was watching the statistics. <laughs> James, that's well, really interesting. Well, if, the you, statistics. Look, if, if you refresh the statistics page, you might notice what happened. <laughs> you I might see another couple it. numbers go up. I, I was, I was, I was just, I was like, holy cow, look at this. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store with this information. Right. Be ready. Be ready, cat. We've, <laughs> We've lost Sean for the rest of the night. He's going to be playing yeah. with the stats. <laughs> I want to watch the stats. <laughs> All right, the tight, and the Titans take the lead, 14 to Python 0. 6.39 left in the first quarter. You do. You really do need dual screens with this. I wish I had it. Or even split screen would work. Okay. The way to do it would be uh, throw out a um, throw out a phone app. And you just pull it up that way. Ah, uh, that's true too. That's true too. That'd See, y'all get me. Have. That'd be yeah, y'all get me jealous. Or... Talking about yeah. all these split screens, I may have to may have to make that work. I don't know. I'm kind of broke over in the troglodyte house right now. Uh, looks like the ball rolls into the end zone. And yep, the Pythons so are going to take back. possession. Yeah, they're going to take possession on their own 20. It's going to be first and 10 for them. I tell you, they're kind of in a catch-22 here because they're down 14. So you don't really want to, you know, just start running the ball. But at the same time, they have not had much luck in the air either with two two interceptions, one for a touchdown already. So uh, they're probably going to look to to ground this one, maybe. There. They give it to Scotty, and Scotty loses about a yard. He runs into a, a wall of Titans here. It's going to be second and 11 for the Pythons on their own 19. Yep. Go ahead, Sykes. I'm, look, I'm looking at the stats again. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, they're looking for their first first down. Of the yeah, evening. They, they are, yes. So now they they've got, got two, two backs. In the backfield. They got Tony yep. on the right and they got Scotty. On, um, correction, Tony's on the left, Scotty's on the right. He is going to roll to his left and he's attempting to keep this one. Needed one more block out front there and then he had the chance to do something with it. Instead, he will lose another one. Another tackle by Gunny. It looks like the Pythons had to dodge. Uh, it looked like Viper came into the backfield and they had to dodge him. Uh, they were dodging somebody. Yeah, it, it was definitely a red shirt that was back in there. They were dodging. Right, Mike's going to roll back. He's going to look like he's running to the left, and he cuts back in, and he gets tackled by – it's his – well, I think I got his name wrong. But he loses two yards. It's going to be fourth and 14 yeah, on their own that's 15. Gabriel. Okay, that's Gabriel. Okay. Yeah, yep. Gabriel made the stop. Uh, and it looks like the Pythons are going to punt. And the Titans have deep receiving – is going to be Pit Phantom. Yep. It's going to Derek be back deep for the so Pythons. He's got some moves on him too, so they're going to have to be careful. Or yeah, this one come back up. It, good it, lo it, lo it looks like Pit 
Pitt knows where Mike is going to kick it, it, but he covered it, and the ball rolls out. Great kick. It rolls out at about the 27-yard line. Mike is known for kicking the ball to the sidelines. He can he can uh, definitely do a, yep. He does well, a great job at that. They had a kick returned in the last game for a touchdown, so it's really not a bad idea. You never want to give so, one away like that. Yeah, to angle it out to the side. It, it just I think Pitt just picked the wrong side. Mike kicked it to the left, and Pitt was covering the right side. All right, so this is going to be a handoff going to the right to Gunny. Called his name a couple of times defensively. And he stalled a little bit over there before he went past the line of scrimmage. Almost thought maybe he was looking to throw that one downfield. And instead, he did tuck it in and run. And he Gained picks up the roughly yards. about nine yards. Yeah, it's going to be second and inches for the Titans on their own 37. And we are at three minutes and 20 seconds to go. Or no, three minutes, 50 seconds to go here in the first half, first quarter. I was looking. I had my camera behind the scoreboard. And that five was backwards, and I read it as a two. <laughs> this one could be a keeper. And instead, he pulls up right at the line of scrimmage and goes deep and hits for him. his receiver, Dwayne. Forget it. 63 Viper. yards. Viper scores. Uh, and that makes uh, uh, scores now the Titans 20 and the Pythons 0 as the Titans uh, set up for the extra point with 3.28 left in the first. Starting to uh, get out of reach here. Pythons better make some adjustments quick, or uh, oh, that uh, that point is good. A long it's evening. Be, it's going to be Titans twenty-one and a Python zero. Yeah, it uh, it looks like it may be a long evening. You see, now you know why I didn't bet you money, Sykes. You see, you would have took my money and ran. <laughs> well, <laughs> and then you'd have treated well, me like a stepchild. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, you, you know the Titans were upset to hear me pick them as as off as I've been on pregame predictions. So. <laughs> so lots of lots of noise and cheering coming over from the Titans side. From the Titan Angels. It looks I oh, and Mike fum, does Mike fumble it? It looks like he fumbled it forward. Uh, I don't see the fumble. I, I saw him I saw get him pick it, it up and, and move forward a little bit. It could have been picking just picking it up off the ground. Oh, uh, okay. Because I haven't I haven't seen anything to indicate from the field it was a fumble. It's, I thought Mike picked it up, but it says Watson was tackled. So it may have been Watson that may have picked it up then. I, they, the Pythons are in good position. It's the first time they've, they've crossed the 30-yard line. They're going to start at their own 36. It's going to be first and 10 for them. Yep. Should be a little bit of a delay here in the formations, and the play clock still running. They've already looks, used one timeout to avoid a uh, penalty. It looks like they may be forced to make that choice again. This play clock's now at two seconds. One, and there's the delay of game, and I never saw a timeout indicated. But you know what? Now they're just now putting the ball in play, so. It looks like they looks may like have been all sides on the Titans. Well, they're, yeah, they're moved, they just moved everything back. Um, so apparently it wasn't. A delay a game there the Titans appear to be re-kicking you'd said something looked weird on that kickoff I, yeah, so, uh, I, I would just wasn't sure what it was but yeah they, they moved the Titans back five yards on the kick so they'll be re-kicking it again and this one's gonna skip all the way through the back of the end zone for the touchback Can it looks like it's going to be offsides on the Titans? Five yard penalty, and uh, it's going to be first down. All right, so they will not re kick that one, it's just going to be first and five. First and five, for exactly. And it looks like the Pythons are going to be on their 25 now, 
So it's going to be first and five for the pythons. And I did get a delay a game. Yeah, I got confirmation from uh, from an official whenever they redid that kick that uh, that the receiver of the kick somehow kicked it a second time. So that that's probably some of that that weird motion that you saw that looked kind of weird. Okay, because uh, I thought because I thought Mike picked it up and then all of a sudden he didn't have the ball. That's why I thought it was a fumble because it looked like it rolled forward. And while we were discussing that, our, uh, Mike took the uh, took the handoff there and then uh, was quickly sacked for a loss of seven. So they gave that five yards right back plus two more. Yeah, so it's going to be second and 12 for the Pythons on their own 18. And he's going to go to his right, and he just gets swallowed whole by uh, Dakota Gearhead. I'm sure Soko will be shouting out loud on that one. Here you go. The Pythons have about 42 seconds on the ball clock. I'm about 2.15 left in the quarter. Yep. All right, they go. Yeah, Look at this one is playing with the player short. I think they have someone short. Someone may have crashed. Possibly, but they've got Angel over there on the sidelines. Uh, they put Scotty. They put Scotty up on the line to fill fill the gap. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Titans. No, no, the Pythons. No, the Pythons were one short. They just moved Scotty from running back onto the, uh, I got the guard you. position. Right, so he is rolling right. He better get rid of that one, or he is going to get yeah. He's, sacked. He, he looks just like he's it. double coverage. He threw right into he double did. coverage. And the wrong guy, if you're a uh, Python yeah, fan, Gunny, brought it here down. comes Gunny again. The first He's score. gone for his second pick six of the night. Yeah, that was uh, that. That was just that was just a poor judgment. He threw into double coverage. The uh, Python's game plan not working so far. While they kick this extra point, we'll see if. Uh, my lovely ad assistant, not you, Sean, the other, other assistant, <laughs> lovely one, <laughs> the, the can hit us with one. an ad. The pretty one. <laughs> Aww. Well, let's talk about Combatant. They're the first and still lead innovator in high-quality, 100% original mesh and clothing products aimed for the football community within SL. We offer a wide for, excuse me, wide range of products from cleats, helmets, compression clothing, uniforms, hand warmers, gloves, and much more. Don't accept cheap imitations. Determine the game, not the game. Determine you. There you go. Okay, and, the, and the Titans kick the extra point, and it's good for them. And Titans lead 28, Python 0. I was looking at these stats. This is very interesting. It's showing Mike three attempts. At passing two interceptions, he's been sacked five times already, where Pit Boss has uh, one attempt at passing one, uh, one completion and one TD. His percentage on passing is 100 versus Mike's 0%. Very interesting stats. I like this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just playing with this. No, with it's okay. It's a very interesting stats. People, like I said, you didn't you didn't know about it until I told that, and yeah. I guarantee you there were people in the crowd that didn't know about that, and it really is neat uh, to just sit there and watch it. Very interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. The comparisons, side by side comparisons, a great feature. Plus, it uh, makes it you like, sound. Yeah, it, it makes me like sound I'm more well informed. You like yeah. that, huh? You like that, right? Huh? <laughs> like, I, like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Now I'm looking at it. <laughs> It looks like the Pythons are going to get it on their own 32. It's going to be first and 10 for them on their own 32. Oh, intercepted. Man, that's another one. Was that intercepted? It was. It was. Oh. They are running a defensive clinic tonight. Oh. 
and they had two receivers. The Python, two receivers. It looked like the ball was just underthrown. Yep, and it looks like they're making a swap out here. Dakota Gearhead now on the sides. I believe that would put Angel in the game, and indeed she is at the uh, on the left side of the line. So Pitt's going to take this and a roll to his right, see if he can keep up that 1,000 passing Oops, he's percentage. He's got two receivers open. He's deep. got a receiver downfield, and, and he, he is going to keep that one up. Second completion of the night for 29 yards, bringing up first and goal from the eight. That was an excellent pass. He had two receivers open. They had a couple of steps on the defenders. So we will see what they draw up now on this first and 10 from the eight. It's going to be a keeper to the left. He's going to roll, and he commits, but then backs away from that line of scrimmage. He is airing this one back across the field. Across the wide field. open rod and venom. He had three to three receivers over there, and uh, Scotty Novo for the Pythons was the only player that sniffed that out. But there's not much you're gonna. There's not any much any one receiver defender's gonna one, do. One, one defender, no, absolutely not. That was a great cross field pass. I didn't even see the receivers until he threw the ball in the air. Well, that was that was part of the problem. The uh, the Pythons defense didn't either. Uh, other, like I said, other than Scotty, and it's three any one person against three Titans receivers, you can just go ahead and chalk that one up. Yeah, and the score now is the Titans 35 and the Python 0. It's about 31 seconds in, left in the first quarter. That was an excellent cross cross field pass. I, I didn't. I was like, why is he throwing a cross pass? And as soon as he threw it, I was like, aha. <laughs> that was a keen eye by Pitt. That was a key play by him. There you go. Mike picks up the ball at about the seven, and he's going to start running it upfield. It looks like he's just going back and forth. Ah, and he Trying to find a hole, seven. and there just yeah. was not one there. I tell you, if you follow that play on the um, – follow that play later on the YouTube video, if you go back and look, the Titan pursuit right there was just a wall. He, yeah, he was stepping back and forth because he was trying to find any kind of little bit of daylight, and it just wasn't happening. Right. So we will see what the Pythons draw up inside their own 10 now. He better be careful and avoid that safety. He steps up to avoid it, but he is brought down for a loss of two. Trying to throw right there, but did not quite have enough time. And that okay. will bring us to the end of the first. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Look, and the Titans are threatening again to score. But they don't have the ball right now. <laughs> but... With two oh, pick don't. sixes. Oh, I'm looking at it backwards. Okay. I'm looking, I'm with looking two at it from the sixes, defensive though, side. You could argue that they might be getting ready to score again. You don't know. It's a very potent defense for the, uh, for the Titans as well. <laughs> I just saw red shirts moving around. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be tough. The Python's going to have to get some breathing room on this play. And it looks like Mike is going to open it up somewhat. He gains about five yards. That should give him a little breathing room. It does. does. Third and seven. I'll tell you, if they could get five yards on the next two plays, that'd give them a first. And it will be their first first down. I was just checking I don't know stats. It would be tough to go for it on fourth from around the ten. Yeah, it, it, it would be. It's third and it's third down for them. Let's see. Uh, let's see if they can pick up the five yards. Right now, it appears that Elmer Jr. may be having a little bit of trouble getting on his on his ball. I'm not sure if it's a computer problem or if he's just stuck. But that play clock is rolling now, and it is around 11, and he has not made any attempt to get on his ball yet. Down to about four seconds on the ball clock. Yeah, they're either going to have to burn a timeout. 
Ah, uh, delay game. They got nailed. There, there you go. El Elma moved at the, yeah, the final, yeah. Um, they called the timeout. Let's see. Did yeah. they beat Mo the delay of game call? Yeah, most likely. Um, okay, most likely they called the timeout. Game. Yeah. Before, yeah, then, before uh, the play. Then the unless they've got their them. finger right, right on that timeout button, then it's going to keep running for a few seconds. Looks like Elma has uh, solved this problem. He's running around. Hey, right, Kat, you want to read off another sponsor while we wait for them to uh, get Elma sure, to Sure, I don't mind. So we're going to talk about Diva Licious Design. Come to the next game in style. Diva Licious Design has a vast selection of stunning clothing, skins, and hair for the ladies to get you looking your best. Don't worry, we didn't forget you guys. We have another store for clothing devoted to the latest in men's fashions. So stop by and visit today. All right, it looks like Mike tried to roll to the right, and he gets caught by Oscar. He loses about five yards in the play, so it's going to be fourth and 12 for the Pythons in their own six. And it looks like they're going to have to punt it. If I was them, I would at this point. Yeah, I mean, you just, yeah, they're just you, you look at the back. score and you think, well, maybe you consider it, but it's you just, just I mean, it's just too yeah, much to you gain. can't. And the Titans have a uh, pit phantom receiving deep for it, receiving the ball deep. It's about seven thirteen left in the second quarter. Yeah, that's pit boss. Is that oh pit boss? Okay, I see pit phantom. Okay, pit boss pit. And he just gets uh, that one off. Uh, and Pitt picks it up at about the 49-yard line. Yeah, he caught that one on the run, too. This yeah, might that be was trouble. Yeah, excellent play. Yeah, and here he goes. He's breaking to the left now. Oh. And he gets Probably. tackled by Mike and picks up 23 yards. He gets tackled on the 28-yard line. It's going to be first yeah. and 10 for the Titans. Yeah, he was trying to shoot up that... Uh... The sideline, yeah, it, it looked wide open for him, but then it's, it just suddenly started closing on him. Is it me or it looks like Pitt is having a problem? There he goes. No, he's he was just the yeah, waiting goes, a few seconds to get on the... Okay, there he goes. All right, Pitt's going to roll left and right, and, and he hands it off, and he gets tackled. Yeah, that was, I think they missed the and initial the handoff. Yeah, that's what it looked like, yeah. I lost about eight yards on that on that play. Yeah, it, it looked like that one was just kind of weird. They, it looked like they bumped into each other, but then they both kind of looped, circled back around, which tells me that they – Intended to hand it off the first time, and there was a problem. All right, Pitt's so. going to roll to the right, and it looks like he's got open field, and he's going to go for it. Is he now? He stops and he throws. And who does yeah, he hit back? He hits Oscar for a touchdown, 35 yard yeah, touchdown they're, play. They are playing pitch and catch out there tonight. Yeah, he, he had a, he had a few steps on the defender there. He definitely had a few steps on the defender. That was an excellent pass. And the Titans kick it, and it's good. It's going to be Titans 42 and Pythons 0. We have 5.57 left in the second quarter. And we were talking about those stats earlier. Pitt is 4 for 4, 135 yards, three touchdowns. Yep, he's, uh, he has, his stat is like 100% passing, his stats. He has like a hundred percent pass rate. That means every time he throws the ball, he's definitely going to hit. And he and he's uh, he's got a total of four completions for one hundred and thirty-five yards. He's averaging about thirty-three yards a pass. All 
Uh, it looks like Mike picks it up in the midfield and is taking it upfield for the Pythons. And he gets tackled at about the 29-yard line, 18-yard pickup. So it's going to be first and 10 on the Pythons 29. Yeah, these stats are very interesting, Sykes. They're very interesting. I do what I can. Very interesting. No, actually, that is a, a huge shout-out to Trey who has created so many innovations with this field and the website and everything else. It's just unreal. Yeah, I'm fascinated by the stats. It's like, wow, that's just like, oh, it's, it's almost real time. Excellent job. Yeah, I looked a while ago, and just to give you an idea, whenever whenever they scored the last touchdown, I refreshed it, and it hadn't, it hadn't updated yet. But by the time he kicked the uh -huh. extra point, it had already rolled not just to the 35 to the 42. I don't maybe it's scripted that way to wait till the extra kicks pointed or what, but I mean it was almost instantaneous. You're talking maybe five six second delay. Yeah, I mean it, it it's it's a small delay, but still, I mean it gives you it's like almost like in real time almost. And Mike's, Mike's going to take this one and look up the middle. Not sure if he was uh, playing for a pass there or what, but he got tripped up and held yeah, yeah. a little bit there in the line. Yards. I'm telling you, these, the front four for the Titans are just on a mission. It's actually the Yeah, it's going to be third and ten and for the Pythons on the 28 also. And it looks like Mike's Mike's stats for running – Mike has nine attempts at, at – at, he's got ten at correction. It just updated. Mike has attempted ten runs, and he's at minus 17 yards per uh, – on average. So he's averaging about minus one yard per run. Yep, and he took a quick drop and throw that time, and it was just short of his intended receiver. Uh, they almost had a good completion there for probably a good 17 yards, but uh, it skipped on the ground a good two to three feet in front of him, so – they were facing another fourth and ten. It looks like it will be a punt. Hopefully he can get this one out of bounds for the Python's sake. If not, they're going to be having another run back to deal with. Okay, this doesn't show you the stats for punts, right? No, it doesn't. Okay, I was just looking at Mike's stats to see what his average... Uh... His average uh, punt was. Well, the the Titans have pretty much built a house down here on this end of the ah, field. So. Great kick. It rolls down to about the five-yard line of the Titans. I think this is the first time uh, this half that the Titans have, have gotten the ball so deep into their territory. Yeah, definitely. We'll take, we'll take possession deep in, the, in their own territory. Definitely. And it's going to be first and ten for the Titans on their own five-yard line. I tell you, the way things are going, I don't mean this is a slight, but you almost feel like you're about to see a 95-yard pass. But, nope, he's going to keep this one up the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, you might see a 95-yard okay. run. I was just he's got going one to correct defender. you on that one. Uh, he's, he's got, got one defender he's got in Scotty front of him. And Scotty trips him up, and he's oh, still he pulls out feet. of that one. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? A you're right. It was, five you're, yard jog. You're right. It wasn't a pass, Sykes. It was a run. And that puts 48 points on the board for the Titans. Get out of here. Excellent play. Scotty was the last person to stop me. Tripped him up, and then the Titans came up. And uh, great blocking right. by the Titans. Great blocking. While they are, yeah, while they are kicking this, we're going to have the challenge – of the night. We're going to see if Cat can come out with this next ad before another point is scored. So, Cat, on your mark, you said go. What? What? Another what? ad. What? Let's talk about what radio. Oh, you with... did it to me again. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> with four radio stations to choose from hip hop, R&B, soul, island, reggae, calypso, and gospel. So get over there and listen to you. What radio? What radio again, she said? <laughs> I'm not doing it again. Nope. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what we do? <laughs> she got me the first time. Or she didn't get me the first time. That time I was like, what do you mean you don't know what you're supposed to do? I just said it was an ad. <laughs> when I first heard that ad, too, I, I got caught on it, too. So I said, don't be afraid. <laughs> what radio? <laughs> if that's the name of the station, someone told me. <laughs> it was what? It's what radio. It's the name of the station. I was like, okay, what radio? <laughs> Alright, the, uh, the Pythons are going to take it first and 10 on their own 20. They got Scotty in the backfield. They got Jasmine and Tony on, setting up on the left as receivers, and Watson's going to be on the right. Alright, Mike takes the snaps and he rolls right and he rolls back to the center. He gets tackled. A loss of six yards. It's going to be second and sixteen on the on the Python's fifteen yard line. Yeah, things so far have not been going the Python's way. I know that just I know a lot of players uh, have joined probably within the last two weeks for the Pythons because um, I know it wasn't that long ago uh, that I don't I think we were worried about whether or not they were going to have enough to even compete because they had gotten down to about five or six players. But it is good to see them with a full roster. And I mean, the season's early. You're going to see this team get better uh, as they go along. And we've got a completed pass. Speaking of things moving in the right direction. Um, Brandon yeah. runs it for picks up 15 yards on the play. Excellent pass. Yep. Bumbles uh, oh, grabbed that one and moved right on forward. Almost got the first down. Third and short. Good to see a little momentum forming for the Pythons now. Hopefully they convert that into a first. Another quick throw. What's this? And it looks like Rafe, that was no, caught uh, by it's linemen. Illegal. It's, a, it's going to yep. be an illegal forward pass. You're going to see that flag on the play hit the screen any yeah. second now. See, as I was talking, there it is. It's going to be an illegal forward pass, yeah. A ball was, uh, was received by a lineman. Ineligible receiver. Great receiving stats. Yeah, I'm looking at the at the, at the Titans. Viper has uh, caught one ball for 63 yards. You got Matterhorn who received who uh, caught two balls, 64 yards, and uh, Venom has caught one ball for eight yards. Where the Pythons have Brandon, who's uh, received the ball one time and uh, gained 15 yards. Yep, and it looks like they are adjusting the. Uh line of scrimmage now. I tell you, I hate to see that for the Pythons because they had that shirt third and short. Now, now let's see. I believe it's still going to be first and ten. It, it says first and ten. No, it's either going to be third or fourth but down. I don't think that's right. Yeah, it's third down. I think they took the penalty, moved them back five, and they do the play over. Okay, so it should be about six yards now. Yeah. He's going to keep this on a roll to his left, and oh, he is going to get tackled. Oh, and Mike gets sacked by Rayon and loses about five yards. It's going to be fourth and 11 for the Pythons on their own 20. Let's see if Mike can place a good kick downfield deep into uh, Titans territory. He got a great one last time out. I tell you, that it'll give you an indication of how the night's going when you say that the best stat – of the night was a five yard, you know, a punt that went out on the five. If that gives you any indication of how it's going. It looks like Python is uh, pits covering to the left. And he's rolling back to the right. I guess Mike is going to kick it down the right and it's going to roll right down the sideline. Ah, into the end zone. Oh, is it? No, it's going to stop. Hmm. He picks it up at about the two pit. Well, that could be trouble. And yeah, he comes up the right side. Coast by still, a couple. Oh, and he's Are you kidding? Going to stop it. Or a nice Please stop it right now. Touchdown. 
No way. 98 yard run back, it looks like. Let's see. Is it going to be 98? Get out of here. Shut 80 the front yard door. Touch. 80 yards. Oh, that's an excellent play. The ball stopped rolling on the field, and Pitt just picked it up and just ran up the right sideline. I tell you, this thing's going down harder than a Malaysian airplane. <laughs> too soon, too soon. Too soon, dude, too soon. <laughs> And the point, uh, the kick is up and the point's good. Titans lead 56 and the Python zero. We have about 124 left before half. Yep. And I uh, think yes, it's the a mercy 56. Will, will, yeah, that fact, clock's still it's, rolling. It's, it's, going to, it's going to start now, exactly. The clock will not stop now. And, and it's going to be, it's, it, this clock ticking away, it's going to be a serious disadvantage for the Pythons. Because the clock will not stop for any reason now, unless you call a timeout. And All right, looks like the Derek. Touchback. It's weird. Okay. This is one of those spots where it's even it's working against the team to help because they've only got thirty seconds left in this half now, and it is not stopping. It, and it will not stop for them. It will not stop for them. It happened in yesterday's game too, and it's like, it, it, it was, it was just, I was just dumbfounded by that. It just would not stop the clock, and it, it just kills the, the losing team. They're down to about 16 seconds to the half, 14. And they're down to about 10. Let's see if the Pythons get this playoff. All right, Mike's going to get off at about one second left on the clock, and this play will end the half, and it's intercepted. All right, it's, right, it's going to be halftime. Titans leading 56, and the Pythons yep. are the Pythons Those of you have here, zero. if you will turn your attention to the lovely ladies on your left and right, they will be doing you a halftime performance. I believe the home team is up first, so that would be to the right of my stand right here. And it looks like the Lady Titan Angels will be performing for us. Ready for the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Stand on the box, stomp your feet, stop clapping. Got a real good feeling, something bad about to happen. Church, but I got so nervous, had to back it on up, couldn't make it to the service. Grabbed all the cash underneath my mat, got a real good feeling, something bad about to happen. Ran into a girl in a pretty white dress, rolled down the window, waited to the two next. Said I'm headed to the bar with my money out the mat, got a real good feeling, something bad.
ready for the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, she really came that way? All right. Clock the hair. Clock the hair. Clock the mug. Clock the mug. Clock the nails. Clock my skirt. You better get into it. Clock the bag. Clock the bag. Clock the shoe. Clock the shoe. Now punch the clock. It's time to work. Work, 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 work. Move over, amateurs. Taking mine, taking yours. Ah, uh, somebody better hold my purse. Mm-hmm. Figure it out like Nancy Drew. Catch on quick like hallelujah. Who gonna check me, boo? Not you. I'm a bug. Don't even get on my trying to talk shit. <laughs> yeah, it's that time. Yeah, that. Like seventy-seven to nothing. Like seventy-seven to nothing. Nah, I'd like 56 to 9. Dinner with me too, bro. Hey, you got to. Gotta get that. Look at her. What? Come on, where am I at? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll eat some chilies. Ass some chilies. You never ate chilies? My daughter was eating. I'll be sure to give shout outs to both cheering squads after that halftime show. Thank you, ladies. Great job, ladies. Yep, so it looks like the refs are moving to the locker rooms, which means the second half of this game will be getting underway soon. You'll see the players start spilling on the field here any second now. So there we go. Good to see everybody. Real packed house tonight. Good to see everybody here. Except for maybe Gerald. I don't know. I'd probably be happier to see him if he had more on. 
<laughs> and the pythons are taking the field now. Right? Well, I, right. Love, you, I love you, Gerald, but oof. <laughs> Sean, I know you hear me. So it looks like the players all formed up here. Iron Mike will be giving a kickoff in just a second. And the Titans like have Gunny. Uh, they have Gunny deep, and to his left is going to be Ryden Venom, and to the left is going to be uh, correction. To the left is uh, Ryden, and to the right is Pit. Yep. So deep barring. Receiving. Barring a score from the Pythons here, this game is going to last about another exactly 18 minutes. So uh, while we're doing that and the play clock is already rolling, Cap, why don't you tell us about somebody else that we should be investing and in shopping with? Well, I was reminded that um, posting messages to Dexter will be five Lindens, just so everybody knows. We're going to talk about Virtual Attitude Wrestling is the number one virtual-based organization grid-wide, presenting two weekly shows, Elite Tuesdays at 5 SLT and Turbulence Thursdays at 3. Be sure to come down with your family and friends and be a part of the magic of Second Life. Check out the BAW website at http colon backslash backslash vawuniverse.boards.net. So there you go. Thank and you, while you did that, I tell you, I feel bad for Ryden because he just ran that one back. So what we're going to do in the next 15, 20 seconds is we're going to pretend like I'm calling that one as it happens. All right. So here we go. Ryden Venom takes his pitch at the 10 and he's going to cut up field to the 20, 25, 30. And he's got a wide open lane all the way down the field. And Ryden Venom will score. So there you go. <laughs> I always hate it when we do an, uh, an ad like that, and then, you know, riding out there makes an all-star play and doesn't get a shout-out. So at least you get a little bit of a sound clip there, riding. So Iron Mike's going to take this one now at about the one. He's going to kick it upfield, hopefully make that 20. He does. He's going to keep stumbling forward to the 25. And I'm not sure, but the uh, – the, no, now it's moving. I was going to say the, the – Play clock there had stopped for a few. And the Pythons are going to take possession on their own 22. It's going to be first and 10 for them. <laughs> yeah, and no, Gerald, you, you weren't lagging. That was me cutting up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ryden, when you, when you watch this one, I, I want to hear that you heard me give you your your play call there. So you have to shoot me a LOL IM at some point. And this is going to be a roll to the right, and he's going to gain about two yards before he's brought down by Enric. And it's going to be second and eight for the Pythons on their 25 yard line. And the clock is still ticking away. We're down to about seven minutes and 42 on the ball clock. And that clock, again, steadily rolling. The Pythons are going to have to go into this quick offense because that clock will not stop for them. And so they've got a single back, Scotty. It looks like a fake handoff. He's going to roll to his left to cut back right. Fire this one left. It is deep. He, he overthrew. It looks like he overthrew. It's intended for Tony. Okay, and uh, Tony overthrew. was in the – yeah, he was in the vicinity. Pitt was right there too, so it would have been a battle. So speaking of battles, Kat, why don't you see if you can get us a uh, another ad real quick. Okay, real quick. Experience the unique atmosphere of the Mystic Rose Club. With stunning design and decor, this club is open to all. Listen to music and dance on the state-of-the-art dance floor. 
from Romantic Moments, retreat with your partner to the secluded tables on the second floor, or just visit the bar. Weekend events start out with a live DJ to set the mood, followed by live singers to close out the evening. So everybody get over and visit Mystic Rose Club. I there thank you, Kat. While Kat was doing that, Mike threw a pass, and it was incomplete. And it's going to be fourth and eighth for the Pythons on their own 25-yard line. And they're going to be punting it off again. And Pitt's going to be back there. Looks like Pitt's trying to second-guess which way Mike's going to kick it. <laughs> well, he does that, and he's what he's doing is he's limiting the directions. See, if he's, if he's aiming to the left, then Mike's going to start and pull it back to the right. And now all of a sudden, if you look up, it's over there to the right. So he's really kind of playing playing mind games with the punter a little bit. I mean, you see, sometimes it don't work. He got pinned in the five. But, I mean, I think he'll take that getting pinned on the five for the very next one, getting ran back all the way. Right, he's gonna this one to the right appears side. to be a little bit shorter. Yeah, this one's going to go yeah. out of bounds. At about the 11-yard line. Right, so the Titans are going to take it first and 10 on their own 11. Yep. Yeah, let me refresh something real quick here. There's about 4.53 left in the third quarter. Yeah, I, keep, I need to get another screen. I need to get another screen to keep these stats up. This is a neat thing. <laughs> I tell you, I thought last night's stat was, was telling tonight the Python's defense has exactly one tackle logged. That is not a stat that you want. Gerald, I would try my phone, but my phone is old. <laughs> I need yep. to update and my phone. <laughs> it locks <and> up. <laughs> it does look like uh, that a timeout will stop the clock. I know we had talked about earlier in a lot of people are under the impression, will. yeah, that a timeout wouldn't stop the clock. But uh, it has I, stopped it the clock. Did I think they may have had a technical problem with the clock, too. The clock had stopped running for some reason. <laughs> the, but it looks like the, the problem, Titans pulled it up. The problem with the clock right now is that it did stop. Yeah, I thought, I thought, I thought you could stop it with timeouts. But you're only limited to three timeouts. So, I mean, you'd have to use them strategically. So, hey guys, while we wait, let's talk about SoCal. All right, let's do it. Hit me up. Tell me about some SoCal. So, let's all, after this, go over and check out Southern California, a themed sim dedicated to real-life SoCal beaches. Come relax on the beach, feed some seagulls, take a nice bike ride along the coast, and soak up some sun with friends, complete with our typical SoCal swap meet area, mm -hmm, gotcha yard cells, and the famous Southern Cali sport, skateboarding at our local skate park. Stores located in the town's main area for your shopping needs, including hectate clothing for dudes with a California fill, lots of photography opportunities with a real realistic weather changing atmosphere, and yes, Dwayne is going to take it to the house. I was going to say, yes. every time you open Perfect your mouth, Perfect for any blogger, cat, call it home by renting adorable <laughs> beachfront apartments with fantastic views. Shop, hang out, play, where loitering is encouraged and memories are made. And Pitt threw an excellent pass to Viper, who had a few steps on the defender. It was Once he caught the ball, there was nothing between him and the end zone. No. Uh, it's going to make the score the Titans 70 and the Pythons 0. And the clock is still ticking away. We're down to about 4.01 left in the third quarter. Yep. And they are at 70, needing five more scores to hit 100. And with three minutes, 50 seconds ticking down in the third. I, I tell you, the well, 93 is looking more and more. They can't get more than 99. There isn't a third digit there. Well, they, they can, can get, get it. it. It just won't they can show get it. it. It just it just won't register on the uh, scoreboard. What it yeah, what it looks like is instead of like if you look at the right, the visitor score right now reads zero. Where the home's at, it will read zero zero. 
Right, if they get 100, right. And if they get over that, it'll be like 0, 05, for example. Yes. And here is feet. the kick. Deep kick, and it goes out of the back of the end zone. And it's going to be Python's possession, first and 10 on their own 20. All right, so here's, here's tonight's stat track of the game. I had mentioned earlier that the the dime, or sorry the Pythons only have one uh, tackle on the night. 25 Lindens to whoever can tell me how many tackles was logged by the Cowboys last night. And hit me in my uh, IMs. First person to do that. 25 Lindens. 20 of that was mine you took from last time. That's right. <laughs> Uh, we All right, never mind. I'm gonna two. I'm gonna break my own rule, Angelo. I see you in local there. All right, I had two. I'm gonna pay both of y'all just because I saw one first in local and one first in IM. So there you go, Dre. Is uh, it looks it looks it, Mike tried throwing the ball to the right and it was intercepted by was it Enrique? And he scores a touchdown on the play. Enric. Enric. Thank you, Enric. All right. So, I tell you I'm what, gonna... while we're doing that, Kat, why don't you score us another ad? The It Girls and Fellas, a professional dance group. They do everything from dance shows to flash mobs, proposals for weddings, and charities. If anyone is interested in this group, please contact Winsong Charming. So there you go, 77, and we are marching steadily closer. Looks like that game clock will be firing back up here any second, though. There it goes. It started back up. They're down to 130 now in the third quarter. Looks like it's going to be another deep kick, and Mike is going to take it a couple of yards in the end zone and run it out. Yep, and brought down short of the 20. Short of the 20. It's going to be first and 10 for them. Looks like the ball is marked at about the 17-yard line of the Pythons. Looks like they're going to send everybody out deep. They don't have Scotty anymore. Scotty's on the tight end position instead of a running back. Yeah, well, I mean, when you're when you're down this much, you you can't even afford the 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 luxury of looking like you might consider running the ball here. It's going to be all in the air. Unfortunately, that has not worked too well so far for them. So they've got their work cut out for them. Yeah, because uh, at, at this point, so far. Mike has 10 attempts with one completion for 15 yards. Correction, make it 11 attempts with one completion for about 15 yards. His percentage is about 9% success on the uh, passing. And it looked like he was attempting to run up the middle there. Gobbled right up by Dakota Gearhead for the loss of two. Bring up second and 12. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. I tell Cat to read another ad right now, but I don't. I don't want the Titans to score, so we're going to hold off on that. <laughs> yeah, down to about 13 seconds in the third quarter. This play may end it if they get it off. The play clock's down to five. And there we go. We will march now into the fourth quarter. The clock's already moving. And this one will be a throw down the middle. Almost a complete. You had Scotty, you had a had a uh, little bit of a step on Gabriel. There was a defender playing deeper, but uh, that ball just appeared to split both of them. Yeah, that and the clock is still ticking away in the pythons. They're about eight thirty left in the game.
Oh. Oh boy. It gets batted down by Pitt. Yep. Yep. We had a situation a uh, couple couple nights ago. The ball that did that, that and uh, just disappeared. So that one you can see. It's a little bit of a different animation. The uh, the guy will go into the possession circle lit up for half a second there. Like maybe he had it, but then you saw his arm kind of swat and the ball just tumbled down. So that's one more new feature that's been added in the last mm, maybe a month ago. Ish. Yeah, it was very but, interesting. Uh, Yesterday's game, yeah, there was a fumble and the ball disappeared. <laughs> I was too busy trying to find the ball and it disappeared on a fumble. That's that's SL. You can always count on it to throw you a couple curves. And Mike's going to be back to punt this one. Looks like Pitt is way back to receive it. Looks like he's going to lean towards the right side of the field. I guess that's because it's probably where Mike is lined up. Oh, and it's going to roll, and it's going to stop oh, at about the 25, yep, and it's picked up. quite put enough on that to get it out of bounds. And it's going to charge forward, and it tackled on the 40. Okay, Cat. Enrique is his name. Is that correct? <laughs> Rick. Rick. Enrique. Like Enrique. 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 En is it Enrique or en Enrique? No, it's Enrique. Oh, it's like, look, okay, okay what's, the, what's the opposite of out? In. What's the guy's first name on Walking Dead? Rick. There you go. Put the two together. <laughs> and gotcha. you got it. And Pitt's going to fire away. Ah, and, and it's going to be his first incomplete pass of the game. <laughs> right, the first one of the night. The first one of the night. Six minutes to go with the fourth. And he's going to fire this one way downfield. This one, of course, is caught. Dakota Gearhead, who's taking this one to the bank. And he just made his deposit of six points into the first bank of the CFL. And you're right, Sykes. It did update. Yeah, now I'm showing Pitt as having six attempts. So it'll, it'll be, it'll, with the update, it'll be seven attempts with uh, six completions. So his, his passing percentage should be about 90-something percent once it updates. Let's see what the update is. I mean, it hasn't updated yet. I'm showing him uh, yards on passing at 210. He's averaging about 38 yards per pass. Yeah, he's about 85% on pass. Unreal. It's a great stat, Pip. Excellent game for him. Uh, looks like the ball's going to roll back out into the end zone. It's going to be touched back. And Python's going to take it on their 20. It's about 4.52 left in the game. And while they are doing that, Kat, why don't you read us off another ad before we run out of time? Well, let's talk about the CFL. Keep in mind that we have plenty of opportunities for you to get out there and volunteer. We've got a chance to be up in the booth, being a commentator, get on the field and rep a game, or just help our cheer team teams be able to get set up and on to their stands. If you have any advertising needs, hit up Veronica Vela and she'll be happy to get you set up. All about the CFL, guys. There you go. I've heard of them. I've heard of them, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, to recap some of the, just to recap some of the passing um, stats, the Titans uh, pit, he has seven attempts and six completions. He has a percentage of about 85%, 270 yards. He's averaging about 38 yards per pass. And we got Mike, uh, has 13 attempts, one completion. His percentage is roughly about 7%. Uh, his pass, his yards, he, he's got one pass for about 15 yards. He's averaging about one yard per attempt. And there you see another batted down ball. 
was almost a pick, but just outside of that radius, so it was only a deflection. And that will bring up third and ten, three minutes to go. So it looked like... Hey, you know, I say that, and they may have two scores with them. They're, they're nine points shy of last night's uh, score. But, I mean, hey, there's still three minutes left. Anything could happen. The rate that they're putting points up, it would not surprise me. There's about 2.35 left in the game. And that was all much. Down again. Yeah, down right, down and got again. right there. So it's going to be fourth and ten on the uh, Python's twenty. It looks like they're going to be forced to kick it again, unless they're going to go for it. Yes, they're going to punt it. And again, the Titans have pit deep to receive. A two minute warning has been has just gone off. We're down to about one fifty two in the game. Yep. And that two minute warning and moot point as the clock is now running continuously. Pitt's gonna receive that one back deep around the ten. And dangerous and bad news is he's got a number of blockers out in front of him. They thin out one at a time, Let's, taking out blocks. And he cuts He's back gone. in. He's gone. Forget it. He's got one more defender left, and it's Tony. Let's see if he makes the play. And oh, Tony's just barely going to miss him. Yep. Did not quite have enough angle. So there you go. Of course, that clock's still rolling. Now at 90, so it looks like they are just going to miss. Uh. That 93 put up last night. Of course, stranger things have happened. I mean, they're still 55 seconds, but one would think that if the Pythons do anything other than throw another, like another interception, that they're going to kill the clock. Yeah, the clock is ticking. It looks like the Titans are hustling back. They're down to about 40 seconds left in the game. And they haven't onsided yet, and it's the last five minutes of the half, so... Uh-huh. I don't well, think I've that got the last ad of the night then. Go for it, Kat. Come on over to Caps, located at the field of the CFL Seahawks. Come o cover up that bald spot with style at a hat store for everyone. Not just sports hats, no lids, just caps. We have an array of NFL, CFL, and custom caps. Want to support your CFL team or just get a funny cap with caps? Hit up Cameron Cora or Troy Briere to get a custom order. Thanks, guys. And Sy Sykes, you're right. It was an on-site kick, and, and the Titans recovered it. And they just did not have enough time on the clock. And the no, final score is going to be Titans 91 and Pythons 0. So there you go. It looked like for a second they were going to get another playoff because they had a formation out there. But uh, I guess it disappeared. So maybe they, they, when they, they just didn't have enough time. It just ran out on them. It just ran out on them. Great game to, uh, so great there you go. to both teams. And thank you, Sykes and Kat. It's been my pleasure. Sure thing. Guys, before you leave, tomorrow uh, tomorrow we've got another, let's see how many games, two games tomorrow at 5 and 7.30 again. Uh, the first one will be the Kings and the Bills. Second one, the Falcons and the Panthers. Actually, no, I'm not sure that one's going to get played. So it looks like there is just the one game tomorrow, the uh, Kings and the Bills. So uh, be sure to get at your ticket if you hadn't already. And uh, it's been a lot of fun, Sean. I'll see you guys later.